On 4th of August 2021, the INS Vikram, the pride of the Indian fleet, took to the sea for the first time. The ship will enter the history books for a wide variety of reasons. The Indian Navy had launched many ships in the past. So what is so unique about this ship? Let's find out. The INS Vikram, officially called IAC-1, expanded as Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 1, is the first aircraft carrier to be designed and built indigenously. This is the largest ship to be designed and built in the entire history of the Indian civilization. By launching this aircraft carrier, India joined a select list of five countries to have this capability. Why are aircraft carriers so important? On 3rd December 1971, at the start of the Indo-Pakistan War, the older INS Vikrant and its carrier group took off from its port in Andaman and Nicobar Islands clandestinely to the Bay of Bengal. The next day morning of 4th December 1971, Sea Hawk planes launched from the aircraft carrier successfully attacked many coastal towns in eastern Pakistan, including Chittagong and Cox Bazar. The continuous air attacks from the aircraft carrier later destroyed the Pakistan Air Force's capability to retaliate. The naval blockade later brought about by the carrier group resulted in total surrender of the Pakistani forces and the state of Bangladesh was born. The INS Vikram has a length of 262 meters which is two times longer than a football field, a beam of 62 meters and a height of 59 meters. It has 14 decks and has a displacement of 45,000 tons when loaded. It has a top speed of 28 knots. It is designed to have a range of 8,000 nautical miles. With a crew size of 1,700 sailors, it is a floating island. It features a stowbar configuration with a ski jump. The aircraft carrier is conceptualized to carry 30 to 40 fixed wing aircraft and 10 helicopters. Indian fighter jets like the Rafale, the Sukhoi 30, the MiG 29s, and the Jaguars have an effective combat range of only 550 kilometers as shown in the circles from their respective bases. So the vast majority of the ocean is left unprotected. Hence, an aircraft carrier, which is a mobile airbase, provides a much needed air cover for the maritime security. India needs three aircraft carriers, two in active duty and one in reserve, to give full cover to the entire length and breadth of the sea surrounding India. It's conventionally powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines generating over 80 megawatts of power. The ship's compact management system was for the first time indigenously developed by Tata Power Strategic Engineering Division in collaboration with Weapons and Electronic Systems Engineering of Russia. The keel of this ship was laid way back in 1999 by Defense Minister A.K. Antony at the Cochin shipyard on 28 February 2009. A special type of steel called DMR-249 used in the construction of the ship was initially meant to be imported from Russia. But following the spirit of Atmanirbar, the Steel Authority of India Limited created facilities to manufacture it locally. In total, 26,000 tons of three types of special type of steel for the hull, flight deck and floor compartments were manufactured in India. The main switchboard, steering gear and watertight hatches have been manufactured by Larson and Tubro in Mumbai. The high-capacity air conditioning and refrigeration systems have been manufactured by Kirlosko Group in Pune. Most of the pumps have been supplied by Best and Crompton. The gearbox was supplied by Elicon Engineering. The total cost of the project is roughly 3.2 billion US dollars. The Indian Navy plans to build two more aircraft carriers of this type so that two of them are in active duty at all times and one is kept in reserve. The Indian Navy has still not decided on the type of plane to be operated from INS Vikrant. Following the example of INS Vikramaditya, the other aircraft carrier bought from Russia, the Indian Navy may choose the lighter MiG-29K, but are also weighing other options like the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet, the naval version of Rafale and that of Hal Tejas. With regard to the helicopters, the Kamo Ka-31 will fulfill the airborne early warning role 
and the Westland Sea King or the Sikorsky MH-60R will provide the anti-submarine warfare capability. The INS Vikram self-defense armament include VLS cells consisting of 64 Barak Surface 2 air missiles with a maximum range of 150 km, 4 Otto Breda 76mm dual-purpose cannons and 4 AK-630 close-in weapon systems. By launching this aircraft carrier, the Indian Navy has shed the image of an importer's navy to that of a self-reliant navy. The Navy's goal will now be to be completely self-reliant in all aspects of its defense needs. Thanks for watching.